Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Carol Brown Earl from Bristol, Virginia, and I am an entrepreneur. And I don't mind telling you that I've been following Ty Lopez, and his material is absolutely wonderful. I would encourage you to do the same. But one of the emails I got from him today kind of excited me. It was so right on. I just kind of laughed through most of it, saying, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but I thought I'd take the time to go ahead and um, read this to you because it is rather important and very, you know, helps your mindset, you know, open you up to better understanding of what you need to do as an entrepreneur. So anyway, uh, he starts out with saying that without doubt, of course, the best entrepreneurs he knows do hide some secrets. You've got to do that. For example, he says he has a buddy of his who makes about $50,000 Fifty thousand, fifty million dollars a year, <laughs> and purposely he'll go on industry forums and post wrong things. He misleads other competitors, entrepreneurs, by saying, "Hey, here's my X Y Z company that's really working for him right now in the marketplace," but in actuality, he. He posts what's performing the worst for him. You never really want to give away the shop. So you kind of use things that maybe they're, you know, a little lower on your spectrum, but other people who have not developed any skills at all will think, oh, this is wonderful. You know, they need it. They want it. And at the same time, you're keeping your competitors at bay not learning what they really do, and what they really have. So anyway, he had asked him why he, he did this a long time ago. And he says, hey, you got to throw them off track. So I was saying, but no, I don't necessarily think all entrepreneurs are like this. Some are a lot more generous with their time and information than others. And that's very true. In fact, his mentor, who is Alan Nation, used to tell him, Ty, go ahead and tell everybody what, what you're doing. People are so proud and cocky, they won't even copy you. <laughs> Stay tuned for a word on that. Interesting, interestingly, he's tested that theory over and over again through the years, and he was right. It's rare that people are actually humble enough to copy others. But, and I've heard this saying a lot, I grew up with an artist, but he says, um, as Picasso said, Good artists copy, great artists steal. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that in my life growing up because I did. I lived with a very um, important uh, artist who painted in oils, painted in the Smithsonian and everything else. But anyway, moving on, back to the original question. Are there insider tricks that only the elite entrepreneurs know? Well, yes, without doubt, yes. So um, the sooner you learn them, the better off, of course, that you'll be. And he goes on to say here, personally, I give a lot of stuff away for free online and even more in my paid programs. But I also hold back about five to 10% just because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> so of course, it's kind of like what we know our main professor in our business does. In the spirit of generosity, though, let me share a few insider tricks that are rarely talked about in the entrepreneur magazines or conferences. Some of these you might know, but ask yourself how well you're actually applying them. And the first one is marketing trumps all. Steve Jobs and Apple eventually beat Microsoft. And let's see, goes on to say, Good product and good marketing don't be decent product and amazing marketing. There's the old saying by Ralph Waldo Emerson. If a man has a good corn or wood or boards or pigs to sell or can better make better chairs or knives, crucibles or church organs than anybody else, you will find a broad hardened road to his house though it be in the woods. That may have been true in the 1980s or so, but it sure as hell isn't true here today anymore. 
in a wor world with billions of web pages, there's absolutely no way you'll succeed as an entrepreneur without being insanely skilled at marketing. Marketing, 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 guys. This is so important. And so we're trying to teach a lot of you. Um, number two, you need a real team. There's a myth among newbies, new entrepreneurs, that they can do it solo or with just one or two employees and do it well. Well, that's a bunch of BS. It's not going to happen. Uh, he says, in his opinion, the minimum variable entrepreneurial company is made up of at least 10 people. Anything below that is operating without efficiencies of scale, without the necessary redundancy needed to, to risk take, and without the increased skill levels that come from specialization, like Henry Ford understood. You might be able to think of some random entrepreneur who did well with just a few people, but like Bill Gates used to say, I never did anything alone. Um, he, uh, yes, okay, he said here too that that's what Bill Gates knew that made him 70 billion while the average global entrepreneur struggles to make even six figures. Uh, the third thing here he comments on is raising capital should be done in precise phases. Only true advanced entrepreneurs fully understand how to utilize capital. Most new entrepreneurs think they need a whole bunch of money up front. They don't. They don't understand the seasonal phasing cycles of business. That's very true. Bringing capital from outside sources is rarely wise right at the beginning. All these people try to tell you, oh, well, go sell this, go sell that to get the money. No, no, no. That is just it. They want your money period. Um, occasionally it is, but if you're in a highly capital intense industry, or if you're already an entrepreneur with a proven track record, then, you know, using capital is okay. But if you're not, you're going to get bad valuations and give up too much equity up front in your business. Even more importantly, the extra capital will make you lazy and less likely to run through the numerous experiment cycles needed to build a powerful business. So, you know, how you handle your money and what you do with it to get yourself to succeed is very important. And you've got to be very careful of that. Um, bring in cap capital once there's a proof of your concept. Rocking and rolling with real momentum. So stay strong, Ty. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, that really, you know, that hit home for me, you know, and I understand all that. But if you've got any questions and, you know, you're wondering um, about any of these ideologies um, or don't understand how to use them or you can't make sense of what I've told you, just hit me up. I'd be happy to even get on a Zoom with you and talk to you a little bit. So, or come join my team. So you can find me at Facebook, facebook.com slash Carol Earl. So that's all for today, and I wish you the best, and God bless, and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.